welcome back to Buona Papa. Sometimes I really like to prepare homemade bread. It's super delicious and has a totally different flavor from the store-bought one. But today, the bread that we're going to make together, it's special. It's a nut and seeds gluten-free bread flourless and every single bite is so full of flavors. This is a super kid-friendly recipe that is perfect for a breakfast, for a lunchbox or just to have a healthy snack. Let's start together with our recipe. Preheating the oven at 350 degrees and then we're going to spread the sunflower and the pumpkin seeds on a baking sheet and toast them until they will get nice and golden more or less 10 minutes and you can always stir halfway during the baking we are going to take a nice big bowl and we are going to add all the dry ingredients i started from the toasted seeds then i added the oats the almonds the flax the chia the hemp the coconut the pistachio and the husk and also add the dried apricots. This is a nice, naturally sweet addition that they did in order to make the bread more sweet than savory. It's time to add all the wet ingredients, that is, the water, the applesauce, the coconut oil, the honey, and the vanilla. Mix and combine everything very well. Take a loaf pan and add the nuts and seeds mix. With your hands or with a spoon, keep pressing the surface because you want your loaf to be nice and compact. Place a kitchen towel on top and simply refrigerate overnight or for a full day. The following day, preheat the oven at 400 degrees. While the oven is preheating, remove the loaf from the fridge and let it reach room temperature. Then place it in the oven and bake for 60 minutes. When the bread is ready, remove it from the oven and let it cool down for at least one hour, one hour and a half. You want the bread to completely cool down. That's when you will be able to slice it and enjoy the amazing taste. This is a super healthy, gluten-free, full of energy bread that you can give to your kids and to the whole family. I use it at breakfast, I just spread some homemade applesauce on top and it's delicious. I really, really hope you're going to enjoy this recipe. If you have comments, leave them in the area here below where you will also find other links to similar recipes. And remember to subscribe to Buono Papa if you want to receive every week a new video from me. Bye! Ciao, ciao!